now we have a working calculator and let us add some CSS files and make this calculator more beautiful so let's see how we can add a CSS file it is pretty simple actually just go to the calculator effects in your project and let us add a CSS file just by clicking on the source package and new and cascade installation this will just add the new CSS file yeah, in the default package so let's just name it as my CSS my CSS and just press finish so what we have to do is let us give some background color for our button this can be done by uh, making a normal CSS by using normal CSS syntax we have an object called dot button and FX background color as we have just select control space to get this view and uh, press on the color chooser or just any color you want it's taking a little bit of time okay now let us take a color from this let us take a green okay add a semicolon just save save all of these files and in order to add a CSS file to our view or to our user interface just click on any button you want to add CSS and go to the properties no okay go to the properties and we, uh, we can add new style sheet using this plus button so let's go to plus button documents netbeans projects and we have a calculator fx in the source file we have my css.css after adding see we can see that th it's already added to that button applied to that button so style class you just don't have to select the style class it is already selected and we have to apply the same to all of these buttons so just select buttons from this here to here and add a new style sheet using netbeans netbeans projects calculator fx source my css css and wow it is applied to all of this button now let us run our program always save it is already saved and run it okay now we have the CSS applied to all of these buttons and what we have to do now is let us add some hover options to our CSS to a button at first I'm just changing the color I don't like this color that's okay let's see be that color and button hover power option and when the mouse enters into the button we just have to fill the text with white color white color simple faces and if you run the program now we can see that when I when the mouse enters into the button the color is changing so that's it thank you for watching guys if you like the video, if you like it, subscribe for more cool videos and stay in touch. Thank you.